What's going on, friends and family of FanDuel, and welcome in to the Week 17 DFS Thuds edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Ryan Williams. You can find me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W, and I'm here to give you my top three plays for the DFS main slate going into Week 17. Uh, now, before we get into the plays, guys, we only got two more of these, uh, one more, actually, of regular season play in the Hurry Up. Hopefully, you guys have been winning some money, having some success. If you have, please drop a comment. Comment. We appreciate that. Hit the like button as well too on the videos and you also can hit that notification bell every time we go live. You'll you'll be the first to know. So we appreciate you guys rocking with us on the YouTube channel. It's been a fun year and we still got two weeks of the regular season to win you guys some money starting off with week 17. So let's get into the plays. We're going to start it off like we always do here at the quarterback position and that's $8,500 Patrick Mahomes. This Chiefs and Bengals game is going to be must-see TV. Lots of playoff implications coming into this game. The Chiefs kind of control their own destiny. If they lose this game to Cincinnati, uh, going into Cincinnati and Tennessee wins out, they are in jeopardy of losing the first, seat, the number one seed and playing on Wild Card Weekend. So definitely, Chiefs got to gear up here uh, for this game, and I think they will. Uh, granted that everything that Cincinnati just did um, to their, you know, uh, rival opponent there in, in Baltimore Ravens, um, Joe Burrow having a smash game. So let's see if he can, you know, if he reciprocates that. We got to have Patrick Mahomes on the other side keeping pace. This total of the game is 49 and a half, second highest total on Sunday. And you love that teams are passing at the third highest rate against the Cincinnati Bengals. They're actually allowing the fourth most passing yards to opposing quarterbacks. Now, Patrick Mahomes has actually, you know, he had a rough start there in the middle of the season, but he's hit his stride in the past three games. He's had multiple scores in all three of those games. He had only had one multiple score game in the previous six games. So definitely like what he's what he's been doing there. Also likely to get Travis Kelsey back. They can definitely use him in this matchup. I know that Byron Pringle, he kind of filled in pretty nicely there. Shout out to you guys who had him in your season long drafts or best ball drafts that really paid off dividends. But we also got to talk about his numbers on the road, which I'll talk about a piece that I've talked about multiple times on the hurry up this year uh, to pair Patrick Mahomes with. But his numbers on the road, he's actually had uh, his 400 yard, both of his 400 yard passing games this year have come on the road and both of his five uh, touchdown or more. Uh, when it comes to passing, have come on the road as well, too. He's only faced Cincinnati one other time in his career. He put up 350 and four touchdowns. This offense is going to have to run through Patrick Mahomes, and we're getting him at 8,500. He's got to be a DFS stud this week, and he's mine for week 17 at the quarterback position. Let's move over to the running back position here, and we wouldn't be having a DFS studs uh, hurry up without talking about the boy Jonathan Taylor, who's going against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, this one, you know, really had a lot of implications to it. We possibly were not going to get Carson Wentz as he tested positive for COVID, but due to the new NFL rules, it seems like we will get Wentz suited up for Sunday, barring any, you know, unforeseen circumstance there if he's able to test negative leading into the Sunday slate. But regardless, if it's Carson Wentz or a backup, we got to love Jonathan Taylor here. He's $10,000 coming in this week, but he's absolutely been a stud. I know he disappointed for some people relative to, you know, what he had been putting up um, on the Christmas Day slate. But still, you know, you're looking at him having a hundred uh, having 100 yards and, a t and or a touchdown in 12 straight games. Absolutely um, a stud at the running back position. It's been a stud for our DFS lineups in $10,000. It might seem hefty, but when you're looking at the guys priced around him and Austin Eckler and Alvin Kamara, uh, even Joe Mixon, uh, the snap shares for those guys, you know, they have other people to compete with. Jonathan Taylor, he really doesn't have, uh, you know, guys to compete with in the backfield. Marlon Mack is actually, you know, out, out I believe, for the season if not on IR. He's got Naheem Hines there, but he's still, you know, seeing 60, Jonathan Taylor still seeing 68% of the snaps and a 50% touch share compared to, you know, 30% snaps for uh, Naheem Hines and, and I believe only uh, a 30 or 20% touch share as well to go along with that. The Raiders are allowing the fourth most running back touchdowns and the fifth most fan duel points to opposing running backs. Fire up Jonathan Taylor this week with confidence. Bringing us to our last DFS stud for week 17, none other than Tyreek Hill coming in at $8,200 uh, on the site. 
And the reason why I like to go back to the well with Tyreek Hill, I'll talk about his his road splits, but really just from an overall state of the slate, we got Cooper Cup on the slate. Guys like, you know, don't want to miss out on Debo Samuel as well. And even though this is a, a high total and I still think his his ownership on Sunday will still be high enough, it might or will still be relatively high. It won't be high enough um, compared to some people getting disappointed by him only putting up you know, three or four fantasy points in what should have been a a smash quote unquote matchup with Travis Kelsey being out. Travis Kelsey being back healthy will definitely help open up the field for Tyreek Hill. And then we got to talk about his, his road split numbers. I mean, Patrick Mahomes road splits are are pretty stout as well, but this, this road splits for Tyreek Hill are absolutely incredible. When you're looking at 35 career touchdowns on the road, comparative to 21 touchdowns that he scored at home, he's had three uh, games with over a hundred, 140 yards receiving this year two of them have come on the road and nine plus targets in every game um, on the road since week two so absolutely explosive and then I touched on this going into the Philly game earlier this year when when everybody wanted to play Travis Kelsey uh, with the Chiefs traveling in to Philly uh, I was talking about Tyreek Hill and the same you know splits and and the numbers for him are so daunting when you're talking about FanDuel points in his career 27 and a half or more FanDuel points this guy has had eight out of 11 of those games in his career those numbers have come in road matchups so he he loves for whatever reason you know being being the bad guy I guess and and having that target playing on the road uh all things are shaping up for Tyreek Hill to have an amazing day and I'll be building my lineups around him as well Guys, that's going to do it for the Week 17 DFS Studs Edition of the FanDuel. Hurry up again. We appreciate everybody rocking with us all year long on the FanDuel channel and and catching the live shows. Much appreciated, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Um, Like the videos. We appreciate all the love and support that we're getting. And we're, we're in the grind. It's championship week. And hopefully you guys can win some money in week 17 in DFS to go along uh, with playing in your championships if you are lucky to do so. Ryan Williams signing off here. You can find me on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W. I'll catch you guys next week for the final regular season DFS studs edition of the FanDuel. Hurry up. Until then, get this money. Peace. Mm-hmm.